Blessed, we're there again. Mental health. Mental health is a crisis all over the world, but who are functioning in the Jamaican sphere, the Jamaican context, and all because them say 40% of the population have mental health disease, mental disease, but it's not that because you're not walking up and down and talk to yourself and hear yourself talk back to you. Why is only that is mental health? It's not because a man lay down upon the road and do have nothing to do. And sometimes it's not that him do a, a mentally challenging, you know, it's just that him is destitute, him is suffering in other conditions of poverty. But you have people who totally see in a, so we think, totally about a level of consciousness and you know say he mentally challenged. Because right now in Jamaica we see how much murder that take place, domestic, domestic um, murders that take place. And that is because you have some people don't know how to deal with issues when it come up. You know, you have a partner and you and I have something or him and you have something and the first thing you want to do is lick, lick, lick and kick and box and chop up and all them way there. That is form of a mental sickness. When a woman can beat her child, beat her child, wheel up the body and all them things, she need to be examined. She need to be examined because somebody who is totally in charge of them faculties don't do the things them where we hear upon the news and things where other people are do to other people and since the psychiatrists them say 40 percent of jamaican people have a mental mental challenge we need to examine it more carefully why is it that there's so much domestic violence especially now when we have the covid crisis the COVID crisis become a part of the, the landscape now. There's more what we call now abuse of children in the home. And there's more abuse of women, especially women, in the house. And this is themselves because of the, what, what is taking place, prevailing. There's a certain thing between you have to stay in your house, so you never usually do. A whole lot of people have to stay in their house, they never usually do. And them see the same people them where they see in the night when they come home from work. And them in day night, day and night, and them see the same people them. And certain things become like frustrating. Very frustrating. So the only way to take out that is to just attack the person who the nearest to you. We need something. Well, we hope the COVID go away soon, you know, but we need something other than blame it on covid because it has been happening for years for years it has been happening the ill treatment of children the ill treatment of women man Ill get ill treated also sexual exploitation it all boils down to some form of mind thing mind thing and we don't know how to control the mind because we live in a what we call a slavery still we live in slavery still and we don't know how to cope with sometimes everyday life, everyday living, or just we are going in our house. And really and truly, if you can make your house be at home, you're in a serious problem. And more people now just live in our house, but them do have a home. Living in our house with only furniture and zinc and varanda and all them something there, that don't make it at home. You have to be stable stable with your family you can't live out the family you can't a child a child need a family mother and father because most of in jamaica go to just mother the mother father you that is not something that we can continue to accept as a natural way of living because it takes a man and a woman to bring a child even though they more reverse that but we're not going to allow that reversal. We used to say it need a man and a woman. And if the man is always out, the woman will have to go serve the purpose of the father. And then she's going to anger the child out of frustration. Because you have some people that say you're dirty poopa. You go on like you're dirty poopa. You say you're dirty poopa, go on a foreign and you know, send no money for it and all them way there. 
that is how people react. And that is because of mental, something is mentally wrong. Sometimes a man, my mother used to beat me and when she done, she said, you know, say, she may used to tell her friend them, say, you know, say, sometimes I look at him and sorry for him when I don't beat him. But why should I done, she knows that she was sorry for me, so why should I want to beat me? Because she feels if she beat me, I not go to the things them way. She said, I must do. And surely I'm truly, and then she now look, I go do it. So the, 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 the beating never helped me personally. Most of me come to say, yeah, when your mother gave some rotted lick, it helped. It don't help nothing. More than frustrate she. The reason why she beat you is not because of you, it's because of she. It's because of she. And that is mental. It's mental. It's a physical thing where it play out itself in the minds of the person them. Who vigorously believe that them doing something good and not realizing say them need some attention to their mind that is what them really need so as we go on and even though we're seeing the covid we're asked just check your mental capability and capacity because you never know it might just turn up on you too the abuse may talk about Ari. yeah this is muta baroka i want to introduce you to a, a different style of programming from the media. We call it Ross Internet That Today. I want you to log on to it because you'll be pleasantly surprised. Ross Internet That Today provides you with all different perspectives, knowledge, psychology, philosophy, history, social things, religion, things. So we want you to tune into it. Ross, R-A-S-S-S, -S -S, Internet That Today. Well, let me hear you say, Mount.